holiday game hunting trip, but it's going to be a little bit different today. I'm actually being joined by my friend Scruffy looking RGB. Say hi, Scruffy. Hello, everyone. It's Scruffy. All right. So what we're going to be doing today is we're each going to be going to a different game shop here in town. And instead of looking for something for ourselves in the spirit of the holiday season, we're actually going to be picking up games for each other. And then at the end of the video, we can do a nice little gift exchange. So that should be really fun and festive. And uh, before we get started, definitely go down to the description and uh, you'll find a link to Scruffy's channel. Go and subscribe. You're going to like what you see, I'm pretty sure. If you like my videos, you'll like his. Uh, but with that being said, uh, let's go split up, go to some game shops, and buy some games from one another. This should be a lot of fun. So let's go. All right. <laughs> Okay, so I decided that I would go with the safe bet of a super potato. And if you can't find an appropriate gift for a retro gamer here, well, then you are just hopeless. Uh, so let's get inside, super potato, and see if we can't find something nice for my scruffy friend. Let's do it. All right, looking for a Christmas gift for my good friend Scruffy. Thought we'd start with uh, these lovely boxed Famicom games because a Christmas gift should be in a box, right? And uh, first thing that caught my eye, this really handsome Gradius 2, which was a Japan exclusive, if I'm not mistaken, and a damn fine shoot 'em up Although quite difficult, if I do say so myself, but uh, you know, that's Gradius for you, right? They're supposed to be pretty tough. And uh, of course, you know, make it a Christmas tradition fighting the big Easter Island head guys. That could be a new Christmas tradition, right? Uh, so that was like a first thought. Maybe Gradius too. Maybe he'd love something like that. Of course, who wouldn't? Um, but we're, you know, we're trying to go like a little bit of a price cap, which um, I was considering violating big time. Like, yeah, let's keep it under, you know, 30 bucks or whatever. But uh, secretly, I was like, maybe I should get him, like, something that'll crazy knock his socks off. Like, uh, you know, something super rare. But here we have uh, Ike Ike Niketsu Hakibu. Uh, just one of a whole lot of Kunio-kun games that were released exclusively in Japan. And if you don't know what Kunio-kun is, I mean, you're looking at the screen. But uh, just think River City Ransom. The same series as River City Ransom. And uh, probably my favorite 8 bit hockey game. So that was an option. Priced right and uh, incredibly fun. Then I saw this uh, Star Wars. And uh, yes, the Star Wars game where Darth Vader turns into a big scorpion monster. Uh, Scruffy, obviously a huge Star Wars fan, so I considered this. But then I thought to myself, wait a minute. He almost definitely has this. Uh, so, Star Wars, uh, you remain on the shelf. 
today, even though that is a very handsome clamshell case. Uh, so I decided against it, but still, uh, me being a Star Wars fan myself, I was immediately like, ooh, Star Wars. Uh, then, you know, just perused the aisles, took a look at this, Captain Tsubasa, which is probably the most cinematic game on the Famicom. Uh, it's pretty cool, based on the manga and anime series, but um, not an action-packed game per se. Again, very cinematic. So maybe mm, not something uh, he would care for. Maybe if I was going to get him a soccer game, maybe I'd get him one of the Kunio-kun soccer games, because along with hockey, they also had soccer, basketball, dodgeball, you name it. Uh, then I took a looky-see here, Rockman 5, my favorite of the 8-bit Rockman games. I just think it's uh, just one of those really perfect 8-bit action platformers. But then again, I thought to myself, that's, that's my favorite. Like, that's a present I'd buy for myself. Um, but maybe, you know, something he probably already has. The Rockman games are, you know, really popular, very commonplace. So I thought maybe let's check out some Super Famicom as well. Because, you know, I was thinking in my head, definitely Famicom something or other. But, uh, you know, there are a couple of choices there. Like East 4, Mask of the Sun. Which I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I think this is one of the Japan exclusive East games. I think all of the... East games on the Super Famicom were, but uh, I could be wrong. But it's really good. Plays very similarly to the uh, the PC Engine or uh, Turbo Graphics 16, you know, first couple of games. Uh, and then there's something like this, pretty affordable uh, Super Bomberman 4, which is a fun concept. Bomberman lost in time, so you get stages modeled after I don't know, like prehistoric times with dinosaurs and feudal Japan and uh, medieval. Europe and stuff. That's that's a cool concept. You'd be amazed at how many Japan exclusive Bomberman games there are. Just on the Super Famicom alone, there are a ton of them. And you know, though they're all pretty much basically Bomberman. I mean, can you really go wrong with a series like that? Uh, Tetris Battle Gaiden was another option. Uh, probably my favorite Tetris game. Very fun and very competitive one-on-one uh, -on -one Tetris game. Lots of cool little characters with lots of um, little special attacks that you can do to throw off your opponent's game. So a great game that was uh, considered for this little holiday uh, gift-giving excursion. Also, uh, Twinbee Rainbow Bell Adventure, which I think this was released in, in Europe, at least in the UK. Um, great game, but not a Twinbee shoot 'em up a Twinbee platformer. Which sounds maybe kind of counterintuitive because they're such great shoot 'em ups, but I mean, it's Konami. It's 16 bit. You can trust them. It's a really fun game, actually. And moves at a fairly uh, brisk pace, which is very cool. So that was also something considered. Then my eyes were drawn to the Goemon games, such as Gambare Goemon 2, which, if you don't know, the Mystical Ninja for the SNES is the first game, but there were several sequels that were released exclusively in Japan, including Gambare Goemon 2, which is a really fantastic action platformer with a lot of uh, additional uh, little gameplay segments that uh, take a break from the platforming. And here's Gambare Goemon 4, which is also a great game. Basically, there's not a bad Goemon game. Um, they're, for the most part, they're all pretty straightforward action platformers. And uh, they're a lot of fun, great visuals, great music. Uh, you really can't go wrong with them. Against 16-bit Konami, uh, who could really complain about that? Uh, so I was thinking either Gambari Goemon game, or maybe a Kunio-kun game like this one, Shodai Niketsu Koha Kunio-kun. Which I mentioned earlier that, uh, you know, River City Ransom is in this series. This game is actually a prequel to River City Ransom, where Kunio and other students actually go on a field trip to Osaka and get into all kinds of trouble, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Simple uh, beat em up, but lots of exploration, actually. So it's not just a straightforward walk to the right and beat everybody up. You actually have to do some looking around, dig and find some info, and then all of these really popular titles here, again, some of them 
well, most of them, uh, well above uh, the price range we uh, agreed to. But again, I thought I might be a little bit of a jerk and kind of, uh, you know, upstage <laughs> scruffy a little bit. Then again, I thought, hey, maybe throw him a curveball, something Sega. Now, I know the man likes Nintendo, but how does he feel about Sega? This, one of the more expensive games on the rack, this Yu Yu Hakusho Makyo Toitsusen, fantastic game by Treasure with four player action uh, battle royals and everything frantic fun great game and you know who doesn't like Yu Yu Hakusho I don't want to meet the person that doesn't like Yu Yu Hakusho of course it's a Mega Drive some shooters would be in order like Ride and Trad one of my favorites pretty uh, straightforward kinda I don't know you could say maybe standard but just solid gameplay graphics and sound it's just everything is done correctly with this game one of my favorite shooters on the Mega Drive. Something that was considered. Is that what I picked up for Scruffy? I don't know. I guess you'll have to stick around for the end of the video. Or you can just skip to the end of the video. I really have no control over that. Uh, and then Gunstar Heroes was something I also considered. Speaking of treasure, one of the best 16-bit run and guns. Period. This game is awesome. Beautiful graphics, awesome soundtrack, fast-paced, killer gameplay. And this was another game that I considered. The, again, this is another one of those upstage -y kind of games. But what did I pick? I don't know. Again, you can either stick around to the end of the video or just skip straight to it, but you will find out shortly. But for now, let's throw it over to Scruffy and see how his little gift-giving adventure went. see we're at the station Surugaya and we're searching for a game for good old Jim my good friend kid show you can this is a tough mission because I think Jim his knowledge is quite deep with games and I'm trying to get him something he probably hasn't played or maybe hasn't got enough time playing and it's tough as we take a look at the uh, PC Engine games here. Download, I'm pretty sure he's played before. Paranoia, I've never played. P47, I'm pretty sure I've seen him uh, review that one. It's a good little shooter. A rule buyer here is not so good, but it is also a shooter. Dragon Spirit, definitely has played that before. Gradius Gopher, Yabo, I'm pretty sure Jim's played that one. And Download 2, he's been recommending that one. That's someone I'd like to pick up. Ordine is a pretty good one. Jimmy Hoppa uh, recommends that one, but I'm sure Jim has played. Okay, so no luck with PC Engine games. Let's uh, take a look at some Famicom games here. As you know, I'm not a box collector, but I know Jim enjoys a good box, so let's take a peruse at what kind of Famicom box games we've got. Shin Senden, looks like a RPG I'm not familiar with. Some Dragon Quest there. And, uh, what is this, uh, Valkyrie, 32 bucks, uh, in the box. Pretty sure that is a very early, uh, RPG right there. And we've got, uh, Tensei Megami, Megami Tensei, excuse me, the very first one, I think. 31.90 in the box, I like the little clamshell. I hear it's a pretty good RPG. Argos no Kishi, or uh, Ragar, Rygar, however you want to say it, known in the North America. 
Got Metroid from F for the FDS. I don't think Jim has FDS right now, so. Let's take a look at the display case. They've got some indie games. Probably Jim has not played those yet, I would imagine. I've never heard him talk about those. Got YY World. Who's played that? We've got uh, Madula. The Wing of Madula. And uh, Crystal Moon. Wild Guns, Gun Knack, Iron Commando, or Captain Commando. And we have uh, Megami Tensei, the Shodaku Guide, or the, um, the Cheat Guide. Pretty cool artwork. I do like that artwork style. Let's check out some PlayStation games. We've got uh, Raiden Project, and uh, Twin B Deluxe Pack. It's a good deal for that one. I was looking for this the other day, but I could not find it. It's like they've uh, pulled it out of the back for me. I might have to uh, pick this one up. But I'm pretty sure Jim has played both of these games. He's, uh, I'm pretty sure he's a big Raiden fan. I've heard him talk about Raiden and Twin B a lot. And I've heard him recommend this one, so that's one. Probably won't be getting Jim. And Salamander Deluxe Pack, he's definitely not bad. They do get a lot of new games in here quite often. A lot of come and go in this location, it's so close to the station. And as you can see, it's just packed with boxes and it's so cramped, but they do have a lot of good things here. A little early Famicom shooter there. Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Wrath. It's a pretty good one. 49 bucks for that one. Loose. Um, it's fun. It can be kind of frustrating. Ninja Mar Ninja Kun. I haven't played that, but I'm guessing it's kind of like the uh, Famicom Ninja games. There's like a whole slew of them. Ninja Maru, I think it's called. Go Go Ackman, the first one. I've recently played uh, Go Go Ackman 2 because somebody gave it to me, and Go Go Ackman 3 as well. Pretty good games as far as I've seen. You've got Dione, which is supposed to be a shooter. I have never played it myself, but it could be a good one. I think Jim has actually done a review on that one, so maybe not that one, not sure though. R-Type Final we have for 4,200 yen. I hear this is really good. Little Jimmy Hoppa is a fan of this one. That's how I've heard of it. I haven't played it yet. Still only played the first R-Type. Trying to work my th way through. Really good Battlefront. Used to love playing that game. Played that to death, actually. Pat Labor for the Mega Drive. I'm not sure what kind of game that is, but it does look cool. I do like the mech aspect of it. Remember watching the animation back in the day? Any of you guys watch the anime of that? Pat Labor. Darius 2 and Tatsujin. 58 bucks for that. But it's time to make a decision, so I'm gonna have to uh, do that and we'll have to reveal it very soon. So I picked mine up. Let's get back to Jim real quick and do this Christmas game exchange.
Okay, so uh, we finished our shopping. We made our way to Tokyo Video Gamers, as you can see. So having a little bit of uh, holiday cheer in a glass here. And uh, hey, come pie. Come pie. All right. Let's got it. And now we get to do our nice little gift exchange. So this uh, I picked up for you, Scruffy. Uh, something that I was hoping that you don't have yet. And uh, something that I think you'll have a lot of fun with. And that is... Uh, Gambari Gorman. Uh, four. Awesome. So, four. So, uh, yes. Nice. The fourth game. Uh, nice. Gambari Goiman Kira Kira uh, Do Dochu. Kira Kira Dochu. Thank you. Yeah, hey, there you go, buddy. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, well. Jim. All right. I do appreciate that. Good times will be had. They will. Thank you. I have not played this one yet. Definitely not. I'm looking forward to it. Yay. Christmas. Yay! All right, so thank you for this, Jim. My pleasure. I do appreciate it, and I love going on. One of my faves. Have not played it yet, and uh, here is your present. My I will let you have to unravel it. Oh boy! Because they need something to uh, the tantalize the anticipation is the me. the taste buds. <laughs> Dion. Yes, Dion. I hope you've played Dion. it a million I don't know times. What, what is Dion? Are you sure? I don't, I'm not sure what Dion is. Are you serious? Yeah. Are you you're shitting me? I'm not shitting you. Okay, this is awesome then. I've, I've picked mouth, a good game. Scruffy. Sorry, I'm going to have to bleep that out. But I see that it's made by Vic Tokai. Yes. Which is an amazing developer. So, it is a uh, shooter for okay. the Super Famicom. I like it already. I have actually never played it myself, but... I love shooters, and I know you love shooters too, so it's a so beautiful Famicom is, game. This is truly a surprise then. That's a awesome. A 16-bit shooter made by Vic Tokai. I'm guaranteed to love it. Awesome. You're um, welcome. Booyah. Awesome. I have something to play tonight, everybody. Awesome. So these are the awesome pickups. Christmas Merry Eve. Christmas to everyone out All there. All right. Badass indeed. Well, now we've got games to play. Uh, we've got some uh, beverages, to some beverages, some cheers to put in in, uh, in our bodies, and uh, I can't think of a better way to conclude a night. It's been a good one. Than to drink beer and then go play some games and feel all festive and happy and warm inside. Sounds amazingly good. So everyone, I uh, hope you enjoyed a little annual holiday game hunt I like to do every year here in Akiba. Uh, we had a lot of fun doing it. We got some fun games. And uh, what can you say? Just a great day, great time of year. And with that being said, everyone Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, whatever it may be. Goodwill toward men, peace on earth, all that good stuff. And until next time, take care, everybody. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs>